I'm going to tell you why most parenting advice is wrong. You should really watch this video because much of what you may have already been exposed to is a little misguided and I'll show you why. I'm Dr. Paul Jenkins. I'm a professional psychologist with almost three decades now of clinical experience working primarily with children, adolescents, parents, and families. Most parenting advice out there is focused on the wrong thing. There's a basic model that every parent needs to understand and then we can apply any additional parenting advice on top of that and it will make a whole lot more sense. I'll share the model with you and give you a few specific things that you can start with today. Most parenting advice focuses on the age of the child. We need to think more about stage, not age. Let me tell you what I mean. The model that I've developed together with another child psychologist, Dr. Randy Hyde, pits control against maturity. Now the word maturity has something to do with age, but not everything. Because we all know older people who are not very mature. You see where I'm going with this? And we know younger people who are pretty mature for their age. So what is it that we're referring to when we talk about maturity? There are three stages of moral maturity that we've built into this model. I'll give you a quick overview of what those are. Stage one is selfish and self-centered. It's all about me, me, me. It's what I want and I want it now. It tends to be demanding and manipulative. There tends to be tantrums and, and little fits that are thrown to get what I want. Does this sound familiar at all? That's stage one. Stage two is a little more mature. At stage two, we stop fighting, we start cooperating, we don't want any trouble, we wanna keep the peace, so we're gonna go along with reasonable requests. At stage two, there's an effort to negotiate or communicate come up with a win-win solution. You can see that that's more mature than what I described in stage one. Now let's go over to stage three. In stage three, there is responsibility. There's an attention to ethics and morals. These are the reasons why we make our decisions in stage three. At stage three, we're concerned about service and empathy and initiative. We see what needs to be done and we do it. Okay, that's stage three. Now some of you as parents are thinking, yeah, do our kids ever get to that? Well, hopefully they do. How are you doing as a parent, by the way? Are you yelling and screaming over here on stage one? Or are you taking responsibility for your own behavior? I mean, it applies to everyone because it's about stage, not age. I share this with you at least briefly here because that's where a lot of parental advice is misguided. We can't just say if your child is this age, you need to do these things. It's about stage, not age. And I can tell you we treat stage one behaviors very, very differently than we do stage two or stage three. I told you that the model that Dr. Hyde and I came up with pits control against maturity. We've just been talking about maturity. What about control? Control means control over your own life. And it goes from zero down at the bottom of the scale up to 100% up at the top where you can have all of the control or none of the control or somewhere in between. And usually it's somewhere in between, isn't it? Most parenting advice out there is about how to take control appropriately, hopefully, as a parent. Here's the bottom line. It's not our job as parents to take control. It's our job to share control appropriately based on the stage, do you remember the three stages I just told you about? Of our kids. And eventually we're working ourselves out of a job because when your kids reach a certain level of maturity, hopefully you have backed off completely as a parent and you no longer are controlling your children. I've talked to a lot of adults who are so frustrated because their parents are still trying to control their lives. Teenagers feel this way a lot too. So we have to transition 
the sharing of our control based on the maturity of our kids. But it's not about taking control. It's about sharing and giving up and relinquishing control as our kids gain maturity. This model that I told you about, I wanna give you for free a visual representation of that model. Here, go to the URL on the screen, drpauljenkins.com slash stages. Remember, I was referring to those three stages. This is the visual model. It will come together. I've got a little description. It's just one page. I'll put it right in your inbox. Go get it, drpauljenkins.com slash stages. Here's another place where a lot of parenting advice goes wrong. Most parenting advice tells us it's our job to make sure that they, whatever, make sure that they do their chores, make sure that they do their homework, make sure that they are good productive citizens, make sure that they make sure that they. That's misguided. Our job is to love them no matter what and even if. Make sure that they is something we can't even really do. How you doing with it? And then we feel like failures as a parent when we fail to make sure that they whatever. I'm taking a firm stance here that our job is to love them no matter what and even if. Now there's a lot of things we can do with that once we focus on our job. But that's where a lot of parenting advice goes in a direction that's not particularly helpful. Most parenting advice is geared toward how to reform our kids or to change their behavior. This is kind of a, I call it a transactional approach to parenting, where we have to stack the deck so that we can manipulate our children into doing what we want them to do. And sometimes it's for some misguided reasons. Now, don't get me wrong, I am a big fan of creating an environment where children have appropriate discipline and structure on their behavior. We talk about that all the time in our parent coaching programs. But the misguided part of that is that we're trying to reform a child when really the very best parenting advice is how to reform the parent. In fact, I was having a chat with Dr. Lily DeHoyos Anderson on my podcast, Live On Purpose Radio, where she said something along these lines. She said, you know, the ultimate outcome of good parenting is the parent. Because the children are in charge of their own lives at some point, especially as they become adults. The ultimate outcome of positive parenting is the parent. This is the number one personal development program on the planet. And the best parenting advice helps you to focus on yourself and how you show up as a parent. Unfortunately, most parenting advice out there induces guilt and shame because we see what people are advising or what the professionals are saying we should be doing and then we compare ourselves to that standard and we feel terrible because we're not measuring up to it. I hear this all the time. Dr. Paul, I'm just not a very good parent. Let's put that to rest, shall we? I'm a professional psychologist. The fact that you're still here watching this video tells me a lot about you. You are a good parent. And I take it from a professional psychologist. I've been hired by the court in the past to do parental fitness evaluations. I have looked at this very closely you're doing the best that you know how to do. And your presence here tells me a lot about you because you're seeking more information so that you can become the very best parent that you possibly can. I already think you're a good parent. I don't think it's my job to make you a better parent. I think it's my job to give you some confidence that you're already doing a good job. And from there, let's go figure out some more stuff. It could always be better. And when is that gonna stop being true, really? I mean, no matter how well you're doing, it could always be better, true? So let's lighten up a little bit on the guilt and shame. Enough already with that. It's not a very good motivator anyway. You're doing a good job, feel that. Now let's team up and see if we can take it to the next level. I'm starting you off with that free gift. Remember to go grab it, drpauljenkins.com slash 
stages, this model changes the game for parents and puts us squarely on the right path to get the best parenting advice that's available.